Hi, I'm Gary White for Central Kentucky Television. I'm here with Marion County Sheriff Jimmy Clements. And on Thursday, November the 14th, it was the one year anniversary of the shooting and death of Deputy Anthony Rakes. And there was a candlelight service held outside of the office building here in commemoration of that one year anniversary. Yes, there was, Gary. Uh, November 14th, uh, 2013. Again, that uh, uh, marked the one year anniversary of our the passing of Anthony. And so there was a huge crowd that was out here that e last evening. Uh, yes, uh, we decided a few weeks ago uh, uh, that we wanted to do something, uh, you know, on the anniversary to, to honor and remember Anthony. And um, uh, uh, it just kind of snuck up on us, but we decided to do this and, and got it together. And it, it turned out very well. We was very pleased. Uh, great turnout by the community of uh, uh, former co-workers, uh, friends, family, co-workers, uh, just all kinds of folks turned out. So uh, it was well, uh, well received and uh, 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 honorable thing for us to do uh, for Anthony. And you had several speakers on hand. I know Angela Nance did some singing as well mm -hmm. uh, that were taking part in the service. Yes, Angela Nance, uh, she sang and uh, of course she, she, she sings uh, very, very well, very beautiful singer. Uh, uh, but we had Angela and uh, Pastor David Whitlock with uh, Lebanon Baptist Church. Uh, Bo Sherrill, God bless him, we, we were hoping that he'd be there this year. He, he, uh, he did Anthony's funeral last year, but he was down in his back and he couldn't make it. So uh, 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 Pastor Whitlock stepped up for us and we, we was great uh, to have him there. Uh, and also County Judge uh, John Mattingly also spoke. So uh, it, it, it went really well. We were pleased. And also, you mentioned about the memorial and hoping that possibly in a few months they'll be back for the dedication of a memorial that you're working on, correct? Yes. Uh, again, that's that's another project that uh, we felt uh, a need to uh, to do for the community, ourselves, and uh, uh, to remember Anthony. So uh, uh, we started that process uh, some time back. Uh, we have a... Uh, a draft of the memorial in itself and it's currently being constructed and we're we are working uh, very hard on trying to sell tickets for our raffle to raise money and uh, uh, that raffle will take place on December 12th of uh, uh, a couple of uh, Valhalla golf packages are involved with that which are very nice golf packages one is for the uh, uh, Sunday PGA championship that's going to be up there in 2014 uh, then uh, four rounds of golf uh, uh, to be played at Valhalla. Uh, also a uh, Golden Boy or a Henry Golden Boy law enforcement tribute rifle that is very nice uh, and a, uh, a uh, 380 handgun that uh, we with, through our carry concealed uh, license we see a lot of people really like this handgun so uh, that's something we thought that the firearms enthusiasts would be interested in so we've got that and a steel weed eater donated by phillips repair we certainly do appreciate that so and makers mark kicked in some gift baskets mm -hmm. as well so we we've got something very nice uh for the raffle and uh the sales are going pretty well we just uh before you walked in we we sold five more tickets and uh we're pushing them every day Super. And again, if you're interested in one of those tickets, the raffle's not going to be going off until December 12th, so you do have some time to come by the Marion County Sheriff's Office or give them a call and you can give help. Call. Yes, give us a call. We'll bring the tickets out to you. Uh, our deputies uh, are out on the road all the time, and, and we'll make, a, make it certain when they're in your neighborhood to, to drop off uh, tickets to those that want them. And again, the memorial is for those fallen uh, law enforcement agents in Marion County, correct? Yes, and 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 it started out really with just that in mind, and 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 uh, as we were planning this and looking over, you know, we we got to thinking, and something that really stuck in in our mind was uh, the accident on Miller Pike of last year, I think it was, or the year before, when the ambulance flipped and. Uh, uh, one of the ambulance service workers was injured severely in that. So, you know, we thought, gosh, uh, that could have turned out to have been really, really bad. So we wanted to make the memorial not only for Anthony and Deputy Williams that was uh, killed in 1903, but we wanted to cover all emergency services. So, so that's why uh, hopefully we won't have to add names to it, but if there's ever a need for it, uh, to do the proper uh, uh, memorial for those guys or girls or whatever the case may be, uh, they'll have a place for them.
Okay. And we're hoping to have that memorial constructed, you're saying, in the spring maybe? We're hoping, uh, hoping to have it finished, and we would like to dedicate it around Law Enforcement Memorial Week. Uh, but if we don't, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll certainly try to make it happen at some point in time around that. So uh, that, that's our goal at this point. Again, I've been talking with Marion County Sheriff Jimmy Clements, and there was a candlelight service in commemoration of the one-year anniversary of the shooting death of Deputy Anthony Reeks. This is Gary White for Central Kentucky Television.